Hi folks, Robert O'Brien from O'Brien Guitars here. Every guitar that comes into my shop comes with a story, and this one's no exception. This one came in for some uh, pretty major restoration work. This was made by a local luthier named Manuel Rodriguez, not Ramirez, Rodriguez. And he was a very popular luthier here in Denver, Colorado, back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And apparently at that time, there was a pretty big uh, flamenco guitar scene here in uh, Colorado. And his family has been finding these guitars. He passed away recently, and his family's been finding these guitars around town and buying them up at pawn shops and getting them back for people and bringing them in and having me restore them because obviously there's some sentimental value. And this guitar was his very first guitar, made in 1969, Manuel Rodriguez. It's a flamenco blanca. And I assume it's Cypress, but I don't know. <laughs> it, it looks similar to a, to a, a Cypress, um, but who knows. Uh, this luthier was very popular here, like I said, in the 60s and 70s and 80s. In fact, there's even a story. Um, there, were, Like I said, there's a big flamenco guitar scene here in, uh, in uh, Colorado, 60s, 70s, and 80s. And one of my former students, who happens to be a doctor, told me a story of that one time Paco de Lucia was in town here playing and he got a call one morning and said, quick, you got to come quick. Uh, we were up all night partying. Paco had too much to drink and he's got a concert in Boulder, Colorado tonight. You got to come sober him up. <laughs> so uh, that's what was going on here in, uh, in the flamenco guitar scene back in the 60s, 70s and 80s. This guitar uh, is not very loud, but it's very sweet, very romantic sounding. Very loose, kind of like a flamenco. The strings are a little a little looser. Um, not a lot of harmonics and overtones and things like that. But it came in on life support. The, uh, the back was still on, but it had cracks all in it. And so I had to remove that. And obviously the bindings came with it. I was not able to salvage the bindings. I had to put new bindings in. But the back came off. When I got inside, boy, there was a rat's nest in there. It was just a mess. I think this guitar had actually been in a flood at some point. There was some mold growing in there, uh, some old repairs from the original luthier. Uh, so, you know, maybe it had some water damage when he was still alive and he did a bunch of repairs. This luthier was also uh, famous for coming in and tweaking his guitars after the fact. So I've gotten several of his guitars here in the shop. And he would come in and, and make modifications, trying to prove the sound. And his first guitar uh, looks a lot different than his later guitars in life. So he did quite a bit of experimenting and modification. But I got the back off, all of the braces were loose, some of the curving was coming loose, uh, a lot of repair work to do on the inside of the instrument. Uh, once I got it put back together, I couldn't salvage the bindings on the outside. Some of them were missing and they were all broken and stuff. So I had to put some new bindings in. And the closest match that I could find to the existing bindings here was red oak. <laughs> Who knew? And I had to you know, do some purfling lines on them, black, white, or white, black, white was the scheme that he used on these. Uh, around the uh, side and around the back. And so I did some, uh, made some new purflings, made some new bindings, installed those. Uh, the fretwork had, a, or the uh, fretboard had a big crack down the middle of it. And so I was able to salvage the fretboard, but it didn't need new frets and things. A new nut, uh, a lot of uh, crack repair on the top, and on the, you know, obviously the back was put back together. But I think it came together quite nicely. And I think the family's going to be very happy to receive this. Being guitar number one, it's it's quite sentimental to the family. People all the time want to know what these things sound like uh, when I get done restoring them. And this one sounds pretty good. Like I said, it's not very loud, but it is very sweet, very romantic sounding. And uh, it's got a lot of percussive flamenco kind of stuff to it, uh, which I don't play, by the way. So whatever I play is what you get today.
So there you have it. Another successful restoration. And I'm sure the family is going to be happy to get this one back. Happy building, folks.